I was like, no, I almost forgot to hit the record button here. But uh, of course, it's going to be Tony Pajamas versus Jazzo, Ken Man versus Ness Kid, as they call it. All right, let's get it. Uh, this is a matchup where I'm like, it, I don't know. I really don't know what to make of it. I think the definitely one that I, when I think about it on paper, like Ness, Ness kind of has a good time winning. But like if Ness overcommits around the shield, but there's a lot of things that Ken can do. But it's the thing that like some of Ness's aerials are just a little bit more disjointed, and things like fair are a good way to like trap your opponent and stop them. Yeah, Ness just also has a bunch of multi and moves too that are really strong against focus attack. And a uh, pretty easy time edge guarding as well. I, I think usually Ken, uh, a B, doesn't really get past the yo yo, like the down smash, very yeah. easily. So that's another thing he has to worry about. Also gets edge guarded by PK Fire and a B from Ness pretty well too. But. He always can get that kill. He's incredibly strong. And uh, Ness, like, holding forward, you know, and trying to, like, get things started with these aerial combos. Look, look how much percent he took. I almost died again there at 50. Like, Ken can just punish Ness over aggression very, very hard. Yeah, that's the one thing, like, I've noticed. Like, he's able to do so. Even though there's a lot of things that Ness can just get in terms of raw damage. And just in terms of, like, distance and space, but man, yeah, I was gonna say, like, that yo-yo up smash? Yeah, get him out of here, because he was gone. Alright, there's the back throw from full screen. I don't think Jazzo minds that too much. Look at the 50%. He's got, oh my goodness, almost got the down air to combo from that, too. Really cannot see that he's trying to work with the momentum he has. Uh, Tony, oh, that's Tony, a lot of shield watch damage. the shield. Yeah, yeah, he knows he had to oh. move. And he still, the shield still hasn't even fully come back. I mean, it's going to slowly come back here. Forward throw, this is pretty much a situation where Tony gets to be in the edge guard here. Good neutral way to stop the landing. Spot dodge to watch out for the down tilt, but you still see Jazzle has so much stage control. He's got him at the ledge now. Losing the ledge invincibility, he goes for that poke. And you know you can go for that auto turn around. You saw back that in Terry. Too. Be back here. Wow. Oh, yeah, too far off on the corner. And just like that, Chazo taking game one between him and Tony. It was originally first seed. Yeah, Tony was first seed in this tournament. Now it's Kalito. But, yeah, Tony, uh, very, very solid nest player. So it's a really good win for Chazo right now. Honestly, he's just really strong punishing game, as you would expect from any good kin. But it's really showing... A lot in this match right now just the way that he's able to open up nest and i think tony uh he just wants to try to like overwhelm king best he can but anytime you make something an unsafe play he's just getting punished by so much so he's gotta be careful let's see all right so coming out of here it's gonna be still be jazzo and tony of course uh pokemon stadium 2 please don't mind the names and they quickly go for a switch Honestly, when I think about like, I don't know, Ness has just been so dominant online in this era that it's kind of hard to see like Ness having a rough time, but it looks like you said, right? Like once Ness commits to something on like the shield and anywhere, if he's within that small bubble of space around Ken, like look at the damage he's just gonna take right away. And if there's a lot of things that this Jotso can just do in, in terms of combos, the auto turnaround Ooh, tilt. Nice. But like you said, right? That yo-yo is so good to stop the recoveries, whether it's Tatsu or Shoryu. Very nice, very nice from Tony. Okay, doesn't get the uh, the power up to show you can. Still a decent combo, but there it is. Oh, almost, almost. Okay, so take control here. Nice up B to cover the ledge, but again, Tony, gotta watch it. He's getting poked on his shield. Oof, out of here. It's actually rough. I think he just tried to jump out of the shield and get an aerial out, but. I think that was like the crescent kick from Ken. It just covers that jump out of shield really well. Okay. Oh, down here? Oh, oh even better. <laughs> PK Fire doing all the work at the ledge. Now, Jazzo. Gotta put in some work to bring this back, I would say. Big combo, though. That's a good start. Yeah. The chase? Oh, doesn't find it. He's really good at pushing Ness to the corner of this stage. 
Uh, triple forwarder here and oh, Jaza. Nice. Yeah, he's running out of steam nice, here. Nice. And Tony has brought things around. Nice. That was a like perfect punish after you hit him out of the double jump. Like as soon as he's forced to commit to Tatsu, it has a huge blind spot above uh, above them, so it's mm -hmm. easy down here. Very nice from Tony. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, anyways, Tony up one, two here, one, one. Hmm, Ken. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know where Jazzo comfortably takes Ness for game three. Let's just see. Let's just, honestly, he uh, had to fight from a deficit in the last game and kind of messed up his strategy that he was pulling off so well in game one. So let's see if we can get a return to that here in game three. Okay, not gonna get the forward air string. Oh, nice. This is exactly the percent you want. He's really trying to call out these nest jumps too. Yeah. As he should, the less you get, have nest beam all around you, the better, and then you can just effectively punish him from that. Ness, I don't agree with Cheesecake there, but some of those players are a little bit different, you know? Some of them are built a little bit different, and not all of them are built the same. Wow, oh, no, 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 no. See, that's the problem, is like he went for such a high recovery to avoid a lot of the edge guards you would see from Ness, but you never want to can out, like, that specific PK Flunder, because it can go up there. Yeah, Tony is not, that's, there's a reason why Tony's the only one seed, man. You know, he may be on the loser side, but he's still got a lot to prove. I wouldn't even say he has a lot to prove. I'm sorry on that one. He definitely has proven a lot. That's what I would say. Of course, here, double forward into PK fire. He reads up the oh, panic. Oh, yeah, that was good. Because he read the panic option. He read the panic Nope, oh. double forward air, but he's still pressing him off stage. Yeah. Force the Tatsu. Gonna forward. force another one. Yeah, and that's rough, rough spot for Jazo there. Okay. Going low. Oh, calls out the jump. Oh my goodness. Tony's covering so many options. Barely gets past the down smash, but he doesn't have many opportunities left. Yeah, that's good. There that's is good. the shore you can. All right. 109 to 0. Oh man. It's very. I don't want to call him Kamal kind of because it's Ken, but he can't, he can't <laughs> screw up. He cannot. He cannot for sure. He's got to watch out here. Good spot dodge there to avoid any of the options here. 114. Ken's got rage. You know if he gets at least two combos, it would have been it. But the bad air dodge is still going to be the one thing doing him out. And just like that, Tony Pajamas takes it over. Jazza 2-1. Not out of the tournament just yet and finds his way there into the loser's finals. Oof.